Hey, well, I mowed. I did get it mowed this morning. Well, kind of this morning. Slightly before noon. 90 friggin' degree heat. Uh, I'm glad I didn't wait till 3 because then it's going to be 95, I would say. No relief in sight. Nearly passed out. Got the front mowed. Uh, got most of the back mowed. And started seeing squiggly lines in my vision, so I came in to the AC and sat down for a while to cool off, and I realized those are migraine squiggly lines. <clears throat> those are the squiggly lines I get before I have a migraine. So I went in, I took some of these pills that have caffeine and aspirin in them, and those usually stop it from uh, turning into a migraine. I can, and by now, I, went, I finished the backyard in about five minutes, and I came out here and I, was, I went back in and sit in the AC for another hour. <laughs> and uh, I am going to now wage chemical warfare on the ants. I got my chemicals over here I'm gonna mix up, and I am going to spray them on the weep holes on this, all, all around the house, and then I'm gonna take these grains I got over here, someplace, yeah, there they are, green bag, and I am going to spread those in a bunch of the yard. I've got a spreader, but I'll be honest with you, I like spreading it thicker towards the towards the house and center as I get further out. And uh, I don't know that granule granule spreader thing. I just burn through it too quick. I need I need one the size of a of a 55 gallon drum to do. A, <laughs> I'm gonna put that whole bag on the yard today because it's not supposed to rain. So those grains, uh, hopefully, they'll sit right. And I got somebody building something over here. I don't know what the heck they're doing, making all kinds of noise. Huh. I don't know. I got bugs buzzing around. Oh my goodness. Anyway, uh, well, I'm going to get started. I'm not going to film myself doing the bu doing the, the bug thing and the mix things. I don't have a tripod. But this is stuff I use. My father put me onto this stuff it's called triazicide. It used to be called Durazban. Uh, the Dow Chemical Company, from what I understand, makes the stuff that this is made out of. So Dow Chemical doesn't make anything that goes directly to consumers anymore. Uh, they got out of that business after the whole Dow Corning and the whole breast uh, breast implant thing. So uh, this is really, I think, made by Dow Chemical and just repackaged by another company. It, I, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I think so, I think maybe. But uh, anyway, this stuff works great. Uh, this stuff works instantly on, and you only go, that's it. You know, you, that's, that's all you put in. It's, it's like teaspoons in a gallon of water, and it works. I don't know what it does, but man, whew, wear, your, wear your safety glasses when you're working around this stuff, and yeah, don't let it get in your eyes or anything like that. Well, it's hours later, and I do feel much better. We still got the construction going on over here in front of the house. I haven't seen very many other people just sit out in front of their house and enjoy the shade. Uh, I think it's a lost art, so I try to practice as much as I can. I do need to weed eat around the tree. I got a bit of a uh, weed, you know, grass growing issue over there. Earlier, uh, I had just gotten in from mowing and I was seeing the squiggly lines and feeling terrible. I sat down and I looked at my phone and it said 76 degrees. It's like bullshit. <laughs> and I had to sit there and tell okay, update the stupid time. And sure enough, it goes to 90. And according to my phone right now, it's 95 degrees. And it's like, but in the shade and the breeze blowing, it's not too bad. So these light fixtures, uh, there's a hole behind that light fixture to let the wires go through. And wasps and yellow jackets and the red wasps and all that, they love living in those holes. So there's one here, there's one in the back, there's some other fixtures on the walls. I spray the snot out of those with that with that spray, uh, just to just to you know let them know not here you know go to the next door neighbor's house and, and infest their house. <clears throat> I even spray these weed poles up here because the wasps like getting in those. I try to spray the corners of the house for some reason. The corner up there of the house is where they like building nests. It's on a corner. I don't know why, but I do that as well. So I spray those, and they, we have the. Uh, a couple of places in and out of the house, up in the up in the roof area. I try to spray everything that has a ingress into the house. I'm sure I miss some, uh, and, you know, miss one from ne one spray to the next. And this year, I'm going to spray about every every month at least. I'm going to go around and just spray the snot out of the house, see if I can keep the uh, ant population at bay. 
Uh, today I put a whole bag on the front and a whole bag on the back of uh, the granules and sprayed the weep holes and did it all. So do it again next month and just try to keep it up and see if I can uh, see if I can keep going. Uh, just these ants are crazy. Uh, they, they, they have a type of ant they call crazy ants. These are fire ants, I think, is what I've got. Uh, these are just they're aggressive. They bite the snot out of you. They're little bitty bastards. Uh, and then we got these giant cow ants that, uh, that people call them. They come out of the field over here. I don't know what they're into, but you know they're slow and they'll run. They'll, they'll walk across the <coughs> they walk across the driveway and the other ants won't attack them. So I don't know what the hell's going on with those. But they're all red ants. So I don't think we have any black ants down here. I don't know how well it's coming out, but down here is a wooden box that my hot water heater's sitting on. And anytime you have a closed area like that that's not filled in with anything in a house, it's going to be covered in cockroaches on the inside of it. So I spray inside that thing. Every time I spray outside, I also spray down there with that, that triazicide. But I, what I'm going to do when I get up the gumption is drill some holes in that big enough from the head of my sprayer to fit through. And I'm going to just put it on wide and sit there and just spray the crap out of that thing. Every time I spray, I'm going to put a, a pint of that stuff in there underneath that box just because you know that was stupid to design that like that they should have made it open so that you could get back in there and spray but I guess I didn't want anything stored underneath the uh, I suppose I didn't want anything stored underneath the hot water heater <laughs> I don't know if he's looking at me or looking the other way I couldn't tell but I do have an audience so Natalie called the cable company Comcast bastards and uh, our bill had gone up of course because we are the last deal that we had gotten with them had ended and they're just jack up your rates to the roof and so she called them and said okay what's the latest deal and for the first time we're actually gonna have a DVR because the the deal that they were offering us to still get basically all the same stuff we still had they had to add a DVR and HD channels and all this kind of other crap and drop the price 30 bucks and it turns out, that we're getting, so we're getting more for less money. And that's locked in for a year. And then, you know, you got to call them back again and ask them what the last, latest deal is and hopefully get it from them. And you just got to do that every year with these bastards. Uh, but I found out that our area now has some competition in cable with uh, the AT&T U-verse is actually starting to kick in. A lot more people are buying that and satellites, which we had a satellite on the house for a lot of years, and my dad came over and helped us take that down. But satellite competition, and now it's just straight up internet, it's actually, if, even if you just have internet, a fast enough internet connection, you can get all the, all the TV shows you want, more or less, uh, if you're willing to wait a little while for them, and a lot less than having a cable connection, so. Supposedly, uh, we're with T-Mobile at the moment, I don't know if they're going to change, but at some point, uh, if they get purchased by, uh, is it Sprint, then uh, this deal might end, but right now, supposedly, you can get endless data uh, on your phone, and it's not super fast, but I'm, I, I tried it, and I can stream normal uh, content like YouTube and that kind of crap which is all I care about. I don't really, I'm not really worried about HD. I'll be honest with you, that's one advantage in my being legally blind is I can't tell the difference a lot of times between the, the lower and high quality video. Uh, so that's actually an advantage in that case. But finally some competition's kicking in with these companies and maybe, who knows, when Google comes out and they push their wire to the home internet, uh, hopefully they'll make it to Houston eventually. I know they're, they're doing it in Austin. Uh, oh God, it'd be so nice to have lightning fast internet until all these cable companies could jump in a lake. Oh, man, I don't know. Because once they run the cable to your house, it, it, it seems to me that they should, you know, whatever company you're buying the access from should be a separate bill, you know. You should pay for the cable to be run to your house, and that would cost an arm and a leg. But then once you pay for it, you're done. You know, the access part just doesn't seem like it costs that much money to me. You know, it seems like it should be a couple of bucks a month, like 10, like you know, tops, 10 bucks a month, even for the high speed stuff, because all the different structures are already there. So I don't know how they're getting away with charging 200 bucks a month. It's just people pay it. There's no real reason for it.
I know how the system works. I know, I know I mean, the physical wires and boxes and all that crap. Once it's in place, it doesn't cost anything to maintain it because it's all automatic. So, I don't know. It costs them more money to track how much data you use than, they, than it costs them to just give you unlimited data. Uh, so, but, of course, they're charging you an arm and a leg for it, so they, they put the, the bits and pieces in place in order to charge you for it because it doesn't cost them anything. It doesn't cost them anything at all to, to give you that for free. Uh, but they can make a killing. But it's just pure profit if they charge you for it. It's 100% profit. Bastards. Anyway, I could rant about that all day long, but I won't.